So there's much uh, artificiality in this conflict, so-called conflict between science and spirituality, and I think much, much of it um, is based on misunderstanding of what, uh, you know, what religion is and what science is. Uh, there's a confusion also between spirituality and religion. You know, spirituality is something that's uh, based on personal, uh, on personal experience. And uh, at the beginning of all great religions, there were visionary, transpersonal, holotropic uh, experiences. But when uh, religions become organized, then very frequently they lose the connection to this vital spiritual source. And uh, what's happening there is then uh, dictated by secular concerns of various kinds, you know, political, economic, it's about money, it's about possession. You know, ideally, we would have a religion that would uh, offer people technology that could induce spiritual experiences in them and create a support system uh, to help them integrate those experiences. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, direct experiences um, are not very popular in uh, organized religion because once you have direct experiences, you don't need the mediators, you don't need hierarchies and so on. Uh, so mystics uh, who exist in all religions, they have very hard time in, uh, in religion because they have, a, you know, they have a kind of a hotline to, to God and their, their experiences are uh, they don't require uh, any special place. It's, it's happening in their body, it's happening in nature and so on. Uh, they need a community of fellow seekers and maybe somebody who is a little farther ahead in exploring these, these territories. But in organized religion you frequently have hierarchy of people, many of whom never had any, any spiritual uh, experiences. Uh, organized religions very frequently kind of freeze the archetypes Joseph Campbell used to say, a useful deity has to be transparent for the transcendent. So these, these uh, religious images that should be seen as something that's pointing to the absolute. They should not be absolutized and worshipped. Uh, Joseph Campbell said this is idolatry then, and it creates a situation where a religion um, sort of brings together a certain group of people, unites a certain group of people who opt for the same archetypal images, but uh, sets that group against another. And then we have, instead of a religion that unites universally, that's, you know, ecumenical, that's uh, all-encompassing, we have a religion that is divisive in the world. It's, we are Christians, you are pagans, and we have to convert them or, uh, you know, there's no place for them. And we are Muslims, and you are infidels, and we are, we are Christians, and we are convert or, uh, you know, the place for them.